Hello and welcome, I'm Liam Plate alongside Christian Gardner here at Madison Square Garden after the Seton Hall Pirates have just defeated the Georgetown Hoyas 73-257 uh, in the Big East Tournament. Now in the first half, Seton Hall came out firing, Miles Powell had 29 points, they could not miss. Christian, what did you see in that first half from the Pirates? Miles Powell was just on fire, four for six from three, and I mean he took such a deep three, everyone was in awe right now. and. Hey, Gus Johnson said, a trend makes, the world takes, and we were feeling it tonight. He said, Madison Square Garden is my house, and he took over. But also, you have to shout out the defense that Seton Hall was playing. Forced 10 turnovers in that first half, 20 points off turnovers. Just great play in that first half. Yeah, Seton Hall playing a 2-3 zone, something you don't normally see from the Pirates. Kevin Willard switching it up. They uh, uh, Georgetown only made 1-3 the entire first half, which... It was very surprising considering Georgetown's a very good basketball team. Oh, for sure. And Miles Powell even outscored that Georgetown team in that first half, 29-25. So, hey, getting it done. Then the Pirates came out with a 53-28 lead on the Hoyas start to start out the second half. Now, uh, the Pirates did not play as well in that second half. Now, Christian, what did you see? Really slow down play. They got really sloppy with the ball in that second half. Seven turnovers compared to the three turnovers in the first half. Really getting kind of careless with the ball. And it's been a problem for this team throughout the season, especially for Quincy McKnight. But they were able to clean it up and salvage the lead. Yeah, speaking about turnovers, they had two points off turnovers in that second half compared to, compared to 20 in the first. I mean, just to go a difference like that really changes the game you play. And to speak about points, Miles Powell, uh, 29 in the first half and then only two in the second. What do you think was going on there? Really, I think he just wanted to slow up a little bit. He was really hot, but then got injured, uh, stepped on a player's foot, I believe. But he should be okay and ready to go for Marquette. So it's not a huge problem, but should be okay. Even with their poor play in the second half, the number three seed, Seton Hall Pirates, were able to defeat the number six seed, Georgetown Hoyas, 73-257. Uh, now, on Friday night, the Pirates will take on the number two seed, Marquette Golden Eagles. Christian, what do you think the Pirates need to do to beat Marquette on Friday night? Definitely have to take control of foul trouble. They had six players with three fouls, and Mamo Kelishvili almost fouled out with four fouls. If you have stark players like Miles Powell and Quincy McKnight sitting, it could be a rough night. But if you have a deep team that they had today with Miles Kale with 14 points and Sandro with a double-double, it should be pretty good. And if you can stop Marcus Howard once again, it should be a good night. Yeah, speaking of Marcus Howard, Big East Player of the Year, he had six points against the Pirates last week, last week when, the, when Seen Hall won. But uh, tonight he had 29 points against St. John's. So which Marcus Howard do you think is going to show up and how can the Pirates stop him? I can hope that it's the one from last week. Quincy McKnight had a great matchup against him. But I don't know. It's Big East tournament. It's the Big East player of the year. I think it's going to be Marcus Howard's show against Miles Powell and should be fantastic. With this win, the Seton Hall Pirates move on to the Big East semifinal and will take on the Marquette Golden Eagles on Friday night at 9 p.m. at the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden. For Christian Gardner, I'm Liam Plate. Thank you for watching.